<laughs> Look at that. She's a beauty, isn't she? She's so big and heavy. Here we go. One, two, three. What a lunatic. How cool though. I love this turtle. This is somebody we want. Hey, look at that. It's a fly river turtle. Ah. Oh. Look at how big that is. Oh, that's so cool. What's going on everybody? It's a good day because we're getting things moving here on the alligator enclosure. And the first order of business on this cold and rainy day here in South Florida is we are going into the pond. So I'm kind of walking my way back through the jungle. We have to get in here and we've got to grab the turtles that are living in here and we have to move them. The reason being is they will get eaten once we put very large crocodilians in here. I don't want any of the turtles to get consumed. So we're gonna go in there and we're gonna go ahead and get these turtles out. And um, I'm excited because this week we are getting the um, fence posts put in. Uh, we're filling in the back section of this pond. And uh, man, it is really going to be a major ordeal. And this is cold, so I've got my Hyperflex wetsuit on. The cool thing is though, look at how clear this water's getting. We've got some plant life in here that's been really making this water get clearer. So it's gonna be awesome when the gators get in here. But for the meantime, we are looking for two fly river turtles and three Badiger affinis. That's what we're looking for right now. So that's what I'm doing in this pond. I don't know if I'll be able to catch them one-handed, but I do have to squat down now, kids, because I've, oof, it always feels funky in that first couple minutes, and you gotta get used to it, and uh, that's what I'm doing. I am just getting used to the water. I am in no way urinating in the water. Um, that would be something I wouldn't want to admit. Anyway, um, Let's go looking for turtles. Let's go looking for turtles today. The water levels have dropped, which is good because we're gonna be doing some, hey, guess what? I got a turtle. I got the big mama. Oh my God, this was easy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> look at that. So how cool is this? So basically, we've got the big bad girl finish female. She was burrowed in the mud. It's a little cooler now. I did run the well water last night, but what we're gonna do with her is we're gonna bring her back up here and we're gonna put her in the recreation pond. It's the only other pond I have open at the moment and it's the only one big enough. Ooh, wow, that was a quad workout, let me tell you. Uh, it's the only one big enough at the moment that's gonna house these five turtles. Where, where am I going? Am I in? Okay. Now, oh gosh. She's a beauty, isn't she? She's so big and heavy. I think she's getting close to 100 pounds. Um, she's a big girl. Now, the only downside of putting these guys in this pond is the fact that they are gonna eat all of my water lilies, which is a little bit of a bummer. Man, I don't have like a really good area to get in. Oh my gosh. Hold on, Ma. hold on, young lady. Yep. Big girl, yeah. Here we go. Look at how clear it is. Awesome eco ecosystem pond here. We're gonna put her right on the deck and she can just plop right off. Go on, lady. Get on in there. It's a big drop, but you'll be okay. I promise, it's deep enough for the dive. Okay, look at her. Is she gorgeous or what? All right, here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. Right down. There's my mama. Look at her go. Wow. It's gonna be cool to see these guys in this pond for a while. I don't mind. I love it. She's gonna swim around and do her thing. You can see her down there, can't you guys? She's looking pretty, uh, pretty good right now. And there are places for them to hide and stuff. So one turtle down, four more to go. So let's get back in in the other pond and continue this exciting episode of Camp Kennan because what's really cool is hopefully within 
the next week and a half, two weeks, we'll be able to have uh, the crocodilians moved. Um, and that's gonna be awesome. We're gonna get the two gators first and the caiman will be coming later in about two months. The caiman are gonna come because we have to build their new habitats. So that's just gonna be a little bit more of an ordeal because my friends from Aquascape, they can only get here in early March. So that's how it's gotta be. In the meantime, I'm back in my pond, which is soon going to be the alligator habitat. So this is going to be an island and the gator is going to be able to live here. We've got all this cypress. It is just the coolest habitat. Um, so I'm excited to have those two um, because obviously it's something that Fred wanted. I want to do the best job I can for his animals and continue that legacy of these beautiful crocodilians in captivity here and just make sure that everything is dialed for them all right so here we got lucky oh hey we got lucky again i think this i think this is somebody we want hey look at that it's a fly river turtle ah oh, oh man we're doing good guys we gotta fly let's go this way i think i'll go this way and we'll climb up we'll put the fly river in all right everyone's just kind of hiding out in the mud and oh gosh careful Ooh, it's slippy oh, oh uh, okay that was slippery oh my gosh all right well here's one of the beautiful fly river turtles and it's going to be neat to be seeing these guys a little bit more often as they're going to be in clear water but the reality is is that the gators are so large that they would definitely be able to crush the shells of these turtles or just even just grab their heads or flippers. And uh, we don't want that to happen. So we wanna make sure we have these animals in a nice, safe habitat. All right, let's go over here. I gotta watch my steppy. There we go. And we'll just gently place this one right down here. Go on. Look at how big they are. Oh, that's so cool. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And as you see, they want to hide real quick. Look at all the leaves that have fallen in here. Good opportunity to chuck them out. Let's chuck them out and get that flow going better. It's always good to do a little maintenance on the pond. See this? Look at how much faster it's going now. This is just something that happens. Ugh. All right. Right here. Chuck it. And there we go. We got that waterfall cruising. Oh, okay. Shall we continue? I think we shall. Here we go over here. We got this cage chilling right now. Look at all the cypress leaves have fallen. Uh, these are bald cypress. They will shed their leaves each season. Uh, not each season, but they'll shed them in November, December, and then in March, they start growing beautiful new leaves again. But I like this bed. You see, it's a nice soft bed I can walk on of leaves. Okay, moving right along. Ooh, don't, don't fall. I thought I felt a turtle near where we got the last one, the last fly river. So let's see if I was correct. Oh man, this is nuts. Oh, let's see, what do we got here? All right, that's the hole from the last one. Now what I need to do, just keep at it. Keep at it. Oh, I hope we don't find a snapping turtle. You never know. You never know what could wander into the camp here, people. But anyway, I think we're doing good today. I think we're doing all right. Two turtles, three down, three to go. Two down, three to go. One-handed nonetheless. I think I should get some credit, people. Credit for being a good turdler. You've heard of noodling? It's nothing. We're turdling. And uh, hopefully my catfish catching friends can respect this discipline. I don't know what I'm going on about, people, but I'm having a good time. It's always fun to be in the pond, even on a cold day. 
Oh, there's a lot of muck down in here, let me tell you. It is quite the ordeal. Oh, that's not the turtle. I will say it is nice and warm at the bottom, so even though we have a cooler day today and going into the night, um, we're gonna have a cold night tonight. Hey, guess what? Guess what we got? Guess what we got, people? We got a mail. We got a mail but the tiger. <laughs> we got a mail badiger right now. I'm just catching them. I am catching them up. We are awesome. You guys are really helping me out here today, keeping me company while I look for these guys. Now, for those of you that don't know anything about, whoa, the Royal River Terrapin or the Badagra Finnis, these guys are from Southeast Asia. They're extremely endangered. And I got mine um, from the Turtle Survival Alliance. And these animals were from the San Diego, Fort Worth and Bronx zoos. And they're a breeding group. And uh, basically friends, they were sent here because I live far enough south to keep them safe in the outdoors. Woohoo! See ya! So we keep them nice and safe, natural sunlight. Um, the one thing I'm going to be keeping an eye on is since they're going into the ecosystem pond, it'll be interesting to see. They don't have mud to burrow into, so I'm wondering if they start to develop any kind of skin ailments, it'll definitely prove my theory that it was it's necessary to keep them with uh, a, lot, a soft bottom. So we're gonna keep an eye on them. And don't worry, we have other ponds here that we can put them into, but I just wanna keep them in the actual wreck pond so I'm able to see them and film with them. And I think it'll be nice. Oh. Oh, Fred told me, don't put, what is this? Fred told me not to put, oh, look at this. It's actually a living snail. Huh, how cool is that? The gators will eat these. They'll chomp right down on them when they find them. So that's pretty cool. We also have a lot of fish in here. So they're gonna be eating fish. The other reason I wanna get these guys out today is because, as you'll see, we're moving into an area where I am actually gonna be filling the pond in. I don't want the pond to continue on this way. I'm gonna fill it in right to here. So we're gonna have a lot of soil brought in and these uh, these turtles need to get out because I don't want to accidentally uh, get them stuck uh, anywhere. You know what I mean? I can actually walk here. So this whole area is gonna be filled in. And um, I really think it's gonna be good. I want to kind of have this area so I can have service vehicles get back in here. And uh, in fact, make sure that we can build more cages. We're gonna be building cages along here. There's a lot happening, guys. I know we've been talking about it for an extremely long time, but it is finally all happening here at the camp. And uh, this is just major, major stuff. So I am pumped, super, super happy. All right, well, there's no one over here that I can tell, but look, look, there's bubbles over there. Duh. Let's see what's going on over there. There's a lot of bubbles over there. Somebody's moving, people. We gotta get over there. We gotta see what's going on. Let's see. What's going on? Who could do? Oh, uh, I think it's the other Badiger. I think it's the other Badiger. Yes, it is. We got all three Badiger Finnis. Nice. Now, what are we missing? Just one Fly River Turtle. All right. This is awesome. And uh, it's good to keep an eye out, right? So we saw those bubbles. I knew something was moving, stirring up a little methane from the rotting vegetation. And we got these guys. They're awesome. These are some of the biggest turtles in the world as far as freshwater turtles. Uh, the males are smaller than the female, as you've seen. Let's go ahead. Get them right over here. Oh, hey there, handsome. Look at that face. Woo! All right. So rad. All right, we got one more turtle, people. Right? We got, we got, yeah, we're four down, one to go. Let's get that final fly river turtle out of there and put into this habitat. 
The other cool thing is when we do build the new, um, the new Cayman enclosures, there's gonna be three new ponds. I'll be able to get a fly river turtle in there because the Cayman will not be able to hurt a fly river turtle. Uh, they don't eat turtles, they're too small. They really won't be able to hurt them. Um, so I'd like to separate the fly rivers because ooh, they can sometimes be a little bit hard on each other. And that's why I liked this pond because the pond is a little bit more silty. Um, the, it's hard to see the visibility's low. So that means that our turtles in here can swim very, you know, just swim a few feet away and not be bothered by someone that might've been an aggressor. So that's part of it. But right now we're just skimming with our hands and feet and butt and we're looking for another fly river turtle the last one we haven't even gone into that little alcove yet i wonder if it would be in there i don't know we're gonna find out hopefully this last one doesn't take too long let's see you can see the bottom lots of mud a lot of micro nutrients and all good stuff to just put on a turtle's skin. It really helps them out. Those, those animals have some incredibly uh, healthy skin. So I will be keeping an eye on this. And if I have to dig another... Oh, I see bubbles there. You see those bubbles? What's that? Could that be another turtle? I don't know. But uh, if I have to dig another earthen pond, I will. Um, I'll dig it for these guys. Holy smokes. It's gonna be the tough one, I'll bet. This last one is gonna be a little tough. You guys have seen me do this before. I love it every time I get to come in this pond because it's just fun, man. And here's where we're really gonna be brave and stick our hands down deep in here under these cypress roots. Wow, and look at how cool. These cypress trees provide a natural barrier so that the gators won't be able to dig out We've got the telephone pole that goes down real deep. So that's going to be a good barrier as well. And you have a lot, there's a lot that has to happen uh, so that Fish and Wildlife will sign off on our enclosure. We've already got the permit. I'll just have them come check the enclosure and then they'll sign off on it. And then we'll be able to move those animals, which is going to be a pretty big deal as well. Moving those guys. They're big gators and they've never been moved out of their home. So. There's all kinds of things to consider. Uh, one of them being when I put them both into a new habitat, will they forget that they've been living with each other for the longest time? Um, we don't want that to happen because I don't want the large male to start to bully the female. But if you notice here, uh, again, visual barriers are gonna be very important for crocodilians. So one could be there, one could be hiding here, get away from each other. It's a large enough enclosure that's gonna be able to happen. So I'm excited about that as well. I don't think anyone's hiding. Well, there was a big fish. I don't think anyone's hiding in this little channel. So we're gonna keep on moving. We're gonna be putting actual bridges up. I'm gonna have a bridge there, a bridge here, and a bridge over there so I can walk through and kind of feed the animals, the gators from the bridges. Um, it's gonna be just a whole new dynamic, man. And I've said it so many times, I hope I'm not boring you guys, but it's just a huge honor that Fred, you know, did that, that he left those animals under my care. And the other cool thing that I'm excited about it is, you know what? Um, I want Fred's family to be able to still come over and visit those animals because those animals were a big part of their lives. And they're a direct, they're a direct connection to Fred. And um, I just want them to know that I'll be caring for those animals and continuing Fred's legacy here at Camp Kennan in the crocodile corner that Fred has given us. So it's a really, really amazing situation. All right, what do we got here, guys? We gotta make sure we get this. Oh. Uh -huh. I don't think they like to get into something this shallow, but just because, what is this? What is this? Hey, wait a second. What is this? 
This is gonna be a surprise, people. And it is really locked in there. Oh, what is this surprise? Oh, look at that! It's a musk turtle! What are you doing out here, man? Oh my God, I'm so glad I found you, big boy. Oh gosh. You know what this means? This means, oh yeah, you're tough, oh, you're tough, oh no. This means these guys have found a way out of the other enclosure and I'm gonna have to redo that fence. Holy smokes. And they all seem to wander right back here. Oh my goodness, what a lunatic. How cool though, I love this turtle. And I knew it was gonna be a musk turtle. This is the Stereotypus salvini. And uh, good thing I found him, because we're gonna be filling in that area. So we got him out of there. Oh yeah, yeah, I know, you're tough, you're tough. Get out of here. And I think it's this, this plant, they climb up that plant. Because if you look, we've got these backward facing, we've got this backward facing uh, wire. But my goodness, why and how did you do that, buddy? Goodness gracious. First, it was pancake. And now, it's this maniac. Get back in there. Go on. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, good. We got to get back to work, man. Holy smokes. So much has to get done. And that's what we'll be doing. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, so you guys missed it because I needed both hands and uh, I needed to save battery on this thing, but we got the final one. We got him. He was just cruising around evading me, but I got him. And so there you have it. We uh, got all five plus one of the uh, turtles that were living in this pond. And now I can rest easy because all of them are in good shape. And uh, I'm really thrilled that they've been doing so well here for so many years. And we'll be keeping an eye on these guys, of course, and making sure that they continue to thrive here at the camp. So what do you say I leave you all with some underwater shots of these beautiful animals. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys again real soon. Don't forget, all kinds of awesome things happening here at the camp. Let me know what you thought of today's video, and I'll see you later.